I used to have a girlfriend, you know, uh, which was nice, uh, but she used to say something that just drove me mad. She used to say, anything. <laughs> Sorry, what happened to the G? Or something, really, with something as well. You chucking the K on the end of this word? I didn't want to be a word Nazi, so I just broke up with her. <laughs> she said, what? Why are you breaking up with me? I said, oh, nothing specific. <laughs> I'm CJ Fortune, stand-up comedian, actor, and star of a new film called The Heckler. During production, I researched my role by talking to other comedians about how they got into comedy and what it's like to be heckled. And the best way to do this was in a bar over a beer. Today, I am at the Pier Hotel in Port Melbourne with, well, one body and two men. I should say I'm with Elliot Goblet and the man behind Elliot Goblet. Mr. Jack Levi, how are you, Jack? Great, CJ, yeah, and you're right. Uh, Jack Levi and Elliot Goblet are co-tenants in the same body, so yes. Yeah, well, that's it. Two different people, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Where did it all begin? Where did you discover Elliot Goblet? Well, I, I did a year of acting classes and the drama teacher told me that I wasn't going to make it as a stand-up comic because I couldn't show facial expression. So I thought, OK, well, then that, that seems to be the skill, uh, not being able to show facial expression. So I decided I'd go down the deadpan track. Oh. So I experimented with the, the straight face, and that kind of worked for me. And I love that you turn the yeah. negative into a positive. If someone yeah. says you can't do something because of this, and you go, well, I'll do it because of that. That's right. I turned a lemon into a lemonade. Yeah, that's right. And you can quote us on that. Well, speaking of uh, lemonade, Jack, uh, what about we have a couple of beers? Got a, a couple of beers on the go. Here they are. You beauty. Well, CJ, it's a bit <laughs> early for me to drink beer, I've got to say. Really? Uh, not you, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, what, what, what would you prefer? I'll have these. Um, I'd like a port. How yeah, quick was that? Well, <laughs> showbiz, <laughs> isn't it, Jack? <laughs> showbiz. Well, yeah. cheers to cheers, you, your port and my beer. Absolutely. Well, we are in Port Melbourne. Yeah. So good it's link. good to have a, have a port. Yeah. It's all about links, isn't it, Jack? Yeah. I want to go back to when you begun. So you just created this Elliot Goblet idea. Where did the name come from? Well, Elliot's my middle name, and Goblet oh. I just dreamt up in a, a moment of brainstorming yeah. with myself. A moment yeah. of genius. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, but but it works. Elliot Goblet works as a name, and I, I've had people smile and laugh at the name. And what year are we talking here, Jack? I've been doing this for 32.7 years, so you work it out. Yeah, 32.7? Yeah, yeah. late, late 81, I started at a venue called La Joke, which was upstairs last laugh. Yes. I was there on the opening night of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did 160 gigs at the joke. 160? You count everything, don't you, Jack? I do, mate. Do you yeah. count everything? Because you, yeah. you've been going for 34 years, 0.7? 32.7. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Is this Elliot Goblet I'm talking to, no, or is it Jack Levi? Jack. You're talking to Jack. Uh, Just yeah. adding a little bit of levity yeah, into the interview, yeah, you know. It's, uh, it's not all it's about it. Elliot being funny. Jack can be funny occasionally. Jack can be funny as yeah. well. Oh, well, I like to hear, yeah, I, I yeah. agree with that. When you first started, did it, did it just work straight away or did you ever have any trouble? Uh, yes, I had ups and downs when I started, as a lot of young comedians do. Um, one good night followed by two or three or four bad ones, but then the one good night gave me a real buzz, so yeah. I just kept coming back. The, the good ones sort of keep you going, mm. but uh, the bad ones are easy to remember, aren't they? They are, yeah. I had a real bad one a few years after I started for the Victorian Sheep Breeders Association, and my yeah. apologies yeah. to any Victorian sheep breeders that are out there. Mm. Oh, you put the wool over their eyes, Jack. <laughs> okay, so then what happened, Jack? Well, I'd cobbled together about four and a half minutes of working material, yeah, yes, to be right, exact. as you do. And uh, a guy called Daryl Summers discovered me. I thought, this is not too hard, and uh, it's come a lot earlier than I thought it would. Mid-82, I got this on. This happened really quickly, sort of. Yeah, I had work. a bit of a meteoric rise, I guess because I was a bit different. And, mm. and also, Daryl Summers was looking for a new talent to run with. I was lucky to be that new talent. Uh, you were an influence on me because you did something different. When we saw you on Hey Hey It's Saturday, I remember when they, you know, the studio lights went out and you did the whole thing with a torch. I said, I'd like to do a few impressions for you now. And then my first impression, I said, was a uh, car with just one headlight. And it was just, I turned on the torch. The next impression was a full moon. Light went on again. Right. Then it was a half moon joined to another half moon. And the light went on again. So there was the same impression with different yeah. setups. So. so simple, but so effective. The whole nation lapped up Elliot Goblet in the 80s. 
I think being different is the key. I think standing, standing apart from the herd and breaking through the clutter, I think that's what it's all about. And uh, you know, a number of comedians have done that after me, people yeah. like uh, Steady Eddie and uh, Jim yeah. Owen and Dave Hughes, you know, all yeah. stood out from the pack that's in right. their There's own way. That's always yeah. a little bit unique and different about them that makes them stick out. And mm. that reminds me of when Steve Martin was interviewed, they asked him what's the secret of success and he said, do something that can't be ignored. <laughs> yeah, and he's and he's a great influence. He was and a great he influence was incredible, on me. Incredible, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, I loved his wacky stand-up comedy. Really inspired me. Fame hit you pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Pros and cons of fame. Oh, the pros are that you you do get a lot of attention, and um, it's good for your ego, good for your self-esteem, and you get invited to a lot of things like you know opening nights of shows and movies and yeah. whatever. Free grog. Yeah, free ports. Yeah. Um, downsides are that you you can get a bit pestered when you want a quiet night mm. and um, people telling you jokes mm. or wanting you to tell them jokes, you know. Yeah, mm. you got a joke for us, Elliot? Yeah. So, Jack, when you do get heckled uh, over the years, uh, have you got a formula of how you deal with them? Yeah, I try and think of something on the spot, but if I can't, then I've got a whole lot of heckler quashes, you oh, know, nice. standard heckle put-downs that I can use. But, you know, while they might sound like insults, they're quite mild. Like, I'll say things like, uh, you tell them, water pump. You tell them, towel rack. Or if somebody has a go at my appearance, I'll say something like, look, mate, if I had a face like yours, we'd be twins. So they, nice. they sound like they're insulting, yeah. but they're quite mild. Yeah, mm. I've never called anyone a towel rack before. No, no. I think it's effective. It's confusing for the heckler. It's confusing. Yeah. That's yeah. the magic about it. That's right. They don't know where to go from there. Okay. Uh, can, can we talk to Elliot? Yeah, look, I'll see if he's around. See and if, if he's he is, around. you can definitely talk to him, yeah. You go get him, I'll yeah. just drink this. Okay. He may well borrow my jacket, shirt and trousers, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah no, I think it'll okay. probably yeah. suit him. Okay, all right. Okay. It's <sighs> going to get Elliot. Goblet. Oh, here we go. I see the change now. You've taken off your glasses. And you've whacked on the Elliot Goblet glass. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Now you're Elliot now, are you? Yeah, I'm Elliot now. Yeah. I'm Elliot Goblet. <laughs> How are you, Elliot? You look uh, very nice in in Jack's clothes. Yeah, well, it was very nice of Jack to lend me his clothes, so we get get a bit of continuity in this interview. Continuity is a very important thing in life. Do you think, Elliot? I think so, CJ. And are you trying to? Uh Rip me off, are you? I can't help it. If now I'm talking to you, I'm starting to sort of mirror Elliot. I'm feeling very animated by comparison. Yeah, you, yeah you're so full of energy. Yeah, well, you know, I, I do a lot of smiling just that people don't see it because I do it at a supersonic speed. What's the secret to happiness? I find I get a lot of happiness from simple things like uh, opening my cupboard doors, uh, opening my drawers. Opening stuff? Just opening things, yeah. Opening things and then closing them. Ah, oh, yeah. that's the best bit. In that order. Yeah. Too many people are hung up about doing exhilarating things, but, but for me it's the simple pleasures of life. Do you like tying things up? Um, don't do a lot of that anymore. That was something I did in the uh, younger years. These days you wear slip-ons. Oh, I thought you were talking about something totally different. Well, just tying yeah. up your shoelaces, for example. Oh, yeah, tying up your shoelaces. Are you up talking about yeah, tying yeah, up I... something else? Yeah, well, I used to tie up a lot of other things in the early days, but that was when I was kinky Elliot. I want to ask you uh, what observations you might have. Yeah, something I've shared with audiences over the, uh, the last few months. Uh, I used to be a drummer for a band called Cancelled. Innovative name, but nobody ever turned up to our gigs. Then we changed our band name to Free Booze. We got big crowds, but they were disappointed, angry big crowds. I have a total of three and a half alcohol free days a week. I don't drink every day of the week for the first half of the day. They say that a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, that didn't go down very well at school when I had to do a 3,000 word essay and I handed in three pictures. And I'd just like to say that I do all of my own choreography. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Elliot. That was inspiring. By the way, Jack's got a port there. Yeah, and he said I could finish it. You can finish it if you like. So, cheers. Can you please tell Jack that I thank him very much for interviewing today? Yeah, mate, it was a real pleasure. In fact, right now I'm going internally berserk. <laughs>